So, in one of my last videos, some of you asked me to try doing some challenges using SPAA, and I thought to myself, which one should I attempt something like this with? So, welcome to the ZSU 57-2. Now, aside from having the same sort of name that you would find on most printers, the ZSU 57 is so named because it has a 57mm cannon, and the Dash 2 is because there are two of them. And of course, this looking something like a tank and not your typical AA gun is no accident because this was intended at least to have a limited anti-ground role or at least sort of a direct fire support vehicle role. And that means it has something very interesting. Yeah, that armor penetration value right there. A maximum pen of 151 millimeters because this has the ability to fire APCBC or armor piercing capped ballistic capped shell because we like saying cap a lot. And also these are explosive rounds. So not a lot of explosive, uh, they're only 13 grams compared to the whopping 153 grams that the HE rounds fire. But that means that they should be able to penetrate quite a lot of tanks, especially given that it is at 7.0, where you start to see a lot of those early Cold War era vehicles, which don't have a lot of armor. Now, this is of course completely stock. Nothing's been upgraded on it at all. So let's see how well we do. Is this going to be a slog or is it actually going to be good? Let's get to it. All right, well, the sun's disappeared. So this is like a night battle in the daytime. So one thing about this, there's ammo absolutely everywhere in it. So good luck. Um, I didn't take a full load of ammo and even then I still feel like I'm gonna get ammo wrecked. It also doesn't help that we have really limited visibility right now just because this is what War Thunder thinks a stormy day looks like. I mean, it's not completely wrong. It just, it looks terrible. All right, we have negative five degrees of gun depression. So I intend to make use of that. The only thing I know about this is that follow up shots have to be done very slowly because it rocks back and forth every time you fire. Something about the recoil of firing two guns at the same time or something. Apparently guns make recoil, I mean who would have known, right? So yeah, we, are, we do get a little bit of wobbliness which means we are gonna have to take our time with shooting. Alright, that T-54 over there is getting hit by something. I think it's behind the buildings over there. I don't want to go like too far out because B point has been taken. A point over there is also being taken, but yeah, B point being taken means enemies are pretty near to there. I, ooh, I think I see it, actually. I think I see it. No, I don't. It's just a rock wall. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And now uh, we we might have an issue with getting flanked too. So that that's definitely not not in our best interest. It's worth remembering as well that because this is the default belt that I'm using, it fires the HE and then the AP. So I'm gonna have to fire twice at everything. Now it's not to say that I'm definitely not gonna, you know, shoot more than twice. It's just, yeah, two is the minimum. I don't know, we're multiplying everything by two today. So it is, yeah, it's two or four. Although technically I think um, multiple shots being fired at the same time is technically a volley? I think that's the term for it. I don't know, I've never operated something with multiple cannons before, so this is all new to me. Then again, I've also never operated an anti-air vehicle. On the front line too, for that matter. Oh, I see some, that looks like an M60. Uh, yeah, okay, and there, there again. There again, and there again, and back down into cover before we get return fire. Uh-oh. Yep, that's what I was worried about. He landed short though, so we're okay. He is still shooting at me. I am more or less in cover, but there may be an enemy down that way. So that was unsuccessful, I think it's, it's fair to say that. So the amount of explosive mass in the HE shells definitely seems like it shouldn't create such a large explosion, but it did anyway. I can hear something moving. Aha! There you are. Do you see me? I think he does. I'm hoping I can at least get one shot out. Come on. Oh, that's a mouse. Um, no. No, 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 no. Okay, that is a mouse. Yeah. 150 mils of pen, even on a good day, is not good enough for a mouse. That is a... 
Nope. That is a nope with extra nope sauce. However, there may be something over here that I can shoot at. Let's see. Oh, I can see their spawn from here. Oh, that's not good. Which also means their spawn can see me. Hmm. All right, let's back out of that. Let's back out of that real fast. Ooh! Oh, I was saved by a tree. Okay, I know I complained that War Thunder, you know, the trees detonate shells that they really shouldn't. I'm, I'm really happy they haven't fixed that yet. Just for that moment. They really should. They really should fix that, though. I feel like that still shouldn't have happened. That... That's the mouse. Never mind. I, I I really should not be shooting at that. I mean, I, I guess it's a distraction, but you know, there's no points for suppression. This isn't Battlefield. Oh, wait, no. Does, I don't think 2042 has suppression. Okay, so this isn't a good version of Battlefield. So far, everyone that shot at me has missed, which is, you know, a good bit of luck. But looking at that mouse over there, that luck may be about to end. Just a feeling, but there isn't a lot I can do about a mouse. Okay, let's go for this over here. I think it's an M60 or an M48 or something. Ooh. Oh, I got him! I mean, he got me, but I got him. That's what counts. We traded. Okay, look, the battle just started and I have a backup. I'm gonna use it. Although, mm, I'm slightly regretting that decision already. It's fine. I totally don't have like a hundred backups or something remaining from the battle pass that I have never used. Although, I will definitely say that, uh, that kill on the M48, it totally, totally, absolutely and I don't like to toot my own horn here, and I don't like to, you know, talk myself up too much. Um, and, you know, sometimes you just have to when you're really good at a game. And um, that was luck. Totally luck. Okay, I'm just wondering... Oh, hello. Hello, I just saw it. What the... What is that? What is it? Oh, that's not good. He saw me. He definitely saw me. Oh, he knows I'm here. He knows I'm here. Wait, can I bamboozle him? Nope. Nope. That would be a no. How did he know I was moving, though? I mean, could he hear me? So, I've decided to take less ammo this time around. Not because I necessarily think it's going to help, but mainly because I didn't- I don't fire that many rounds. <laughs> I, I just kind of figured it maybe it would. Maybe- maybe it'd make a difference, who knows. So one other thing that's a little bit of a downside is just how long the barrels on this are. Are you gonna stop there? No, you're gonna keep going. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, the long barrels mean you get more visible. You know, when, you, when you're peeking around corners or when you're going over a hill, people tend to see your guns. They're, they're kind of an obvious thing to spot, unfortunately. The engine on this vehicle might be quite loud because I'm pretty sure this is based on the same hull as the T-54. So it would make sense for it to have, like, the same engine, right? And then therefore make the same sort of noises. All right, let's get you. Again. Ooh, I critted him. Get him again. Get him again. Oh, my gunner's out. Oh, no! Uh, you see, the downside of having two guns is when you're aiming using a single aim point, they go left and right of it under normal circumstances. In this case, with this being stock, it means that they go, well, sort of wherever, really. <laughs> They're not particularly accurate guns. So, you know, bruh. Whoa! That accuracy issue, by the way, as I'm pretty sure most people will have figured out later on, is actually caused by the muzzle blast of both guns when you fire them together. So you can actually fix the problem by just not having them fire at the same time. And of course, the reason why that causes issues is kind of difficult to really explain. But the short answer is the big boom boom at the end of the gun makes the shell go ping into a different direction. And of course, that ping in a different direction makes the guns go wibble wobble. Ooh. Enemy, danger close. Oh, that counts as danger close, but it's close. Suppressing fire! I might have just given away my position oh, no. and I didn't hit anything. Quick, help, save me, Type 75. You can do it. I shall attempt to cover your flanks. I really do wish I had a stabilizer for this, but it also wouldn't make sense on a vehicle like this. All right, that's scout marker. Smoke seems to be wearing off. There he is. Get him. Revenge. Revenge. Got him! I wish I didn't need to use a backup for stuff like that, but you know what? I'm kind of glad I did. Although, if I'm honest, I think he was done for anyway. All right, let's not push to where that T-44 just died, because that would not be good for my health, because I'm sure whatever killed him can definitely kill me. But I would like to know what got him. Ooh, can I get you? Oh, I don't know how to gauge this. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing with, um, 
anti-air, honestly. Yeah. I don't know how people do it. Like, whenever I'm in a helicopter or in, uh, even in a jet, like some of the early jets, I get shot down by these things all the time. So, I have no idea how people are doing it. Because it, surely it can't be something, you know, like practice or tutorials or learning or something. I mean, that just wouldn't make sense. Oh, I see something. I see something. Gotta sneak around here. Don't get spotted by anyone else. He's going after the SU-122. Ooh, hello. There we go. There we go. Oh, I, I think the 54 might have been chasing him down. Oh, I feel bad now. I, I feel like I might have stolen the kill. I mean, I'm a little bit sorry about that. Not terribly so, but just a little bit. Oh, that's the closest a plane has been. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? No. <laughs> the simple answer is usually the correct one. Right, let's see if I can get this one. Oh. There was a wall there. Never mind. Come on. Those look like they were close. Yeah, I think the issue is the guns fire is slow, so they need, you know, good aim. Also, apparently the Chinese version of this gets, um, like, proximity fuse or, like, time fuse rounds. So it works like an actual flat cannon. I feel like that definitely is a lot more effective, you know, than just sort of firing rounds in the air and hoping they hit. Because at least in that case, you don't need the direct hit, and that's a good thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're using this as um, a tank, which I definitely feel is the wrong way to play this. Or at least, you know, it's the wrong way to play it if I'm doing it. I think if anyone else does it, it's probably fine. All right, anybody here? Oh, there definitely is somebody here. Oh, hello! Okay, well, I critted him. I knocked out his driver and gunner. That's, um, that's amazing. I don't think I should have survived that, honestly. But if somebody else would like to finish him off, I'd be really, really grateful. I'll take the assist. I, I, I'm not really, like, greedy for it or anything. There we go. Glad they could help. So you gotta remember, the only thing scarier than a Soviet T-34 is an American one. Mostly because it's bigger. Like, a lot bigger. Ooh, what do we have here? Is there somebody in there? Yes, there is. <laughs> Oh, there was somebody else. I didn't see him. All right, so we've got some upgrades now. I have crew replenishment. I've got parts. Not that I needed them before because a single hit would take me out. But we do also have that belt that is all APHE rounds. Which means, well, we don't have to necessarily fire twice at the same enemy. But knowing me, probably. I also got that upgrade that makes the guns a little more accurate but I haven't tested it, so I don't know if it makes much of a difference. So we're gonna find out. Knowing my luck and knowing the inherent Sovietness of this vehicle, it's probably not gonna make that much of a difference. Time to be a little cautious. I do like that this tank effectively shuts its engine off every time it stops. Like, I know it's still running because you can see the exhaust, but it doesn't make a single sound. It makes it very, very good for hearing enemies. Like this. Man, if that happened to me, I would have absolutely... What's the way I can put that? I'd need new pants, probably. Huh? And a chair. Hello? Oh, I knocked out his gunner. Oh, that was a great shot. Is that a Sherman? I think it is. I don't know where he's gone. I think I set him on fire, but... Okay, it was a Sherman. But with... Oh, it was the, the Sherman with the Pershing turret. That's why it looked so weird. Uh-oh. Yeah, I only tracked him. Um... He could have shot at me, but he didn't. Uh, I I don't know why, but I don't really want to peek that way again. Oh, that's not good for me. I don't know if 50 caliber can damage me. I only have like 15 millimeters of armor. So I'm sort of thinking it can. I'm also really glad I took a full load of ammo. Just this once. Oh. Yeah. My luck was not gonna last that long. So, this is what backups are for. I mean, I guess at this point I could probably capture the sea point. I don't know if those guys can actually see it. You know, see the sea? I mean, they can see the sea, but can they see the sea point? Actually, who am I kidding? We're on American desert. You can't see the sea from here. But just in case you can, that's why I brought my floaty. Look at that life ring. It's in a cage, too, just in case it escapes. Oh! Right, I knew somebody was down there. I just wasn't expecting it. All right, back in the desert, but on the other side. Honestly, the tank is starting to grow on me. And yes, I did just call it a tank. It's not a tank, but uh, this might be my favorite Soviet tank. I mean, I'm almost able to resist calling it a funny looking target. Almost. Not quite, but almost. All right, it looks like we've got people on the sea point. Gotta keep looking around. See, the key to our survival is seeing the enemy before they see us so many angles i don't like that i can kind of hear stuff moving but i don't know where it's coming from i have genuinely no idea where i'm hearing these sounds from 
Okay, that's a tiger too. That's not necessarily something I can do a lot about, but he does still think I'm down there. Hello. You I can kill, but I didn't manage to. That's not good for me. All right. Okay, what was that? That was a tiger. Why did I think I could kill a tiger from the front? I'm not entirely sure. I think I mistook it for something else. My only explanation for that. I hear what sounds like an M109, I think. Oh, I think I just saw it. Exhaust. Yep, I did. I did. I did. It's right there. Right there. No. Okay, I might just be seeing things. I'm getting paranoid. What? What? Oh, he was right there! Okay. Uh, uh, this is why you don't round corners uh, in in gunner view. That's exactly why. I don't even think he saw me at first. Ooh, it's an M109. I still have yet to do a video on that thing. If you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you've watched this far into the video, comment down below with the timestamp 734, the words 57 in all caps. All right, so the plan is I'm going to let these guys go first, and then we move forward. Kind of waiting for something to pop up over here, but I guess that might not happen. Yeah, especially with that Rattel being down there. All right, so the new plan is go and have a look at what's going on at the A point and then shoot at anything that's down there. And I see a smoke screen and not much else. Oh, there's something down there. Quick, shoot him. Shoot him in the butt. What? Okay, I think I should probably get back into cover. I should be expecting return fire any moment now. And again, I'm not entirely sure he knew where those shots came from because he was facing the other way. However, I do think there's an ally over here that needs our help. So, hello? Alright, gunner loader out. I think the M109 might be able to finish him off. I don't know if he's loaded yet, though. Ooh! Oh, I got artillery. Oh, it's a Type 75. Right, so there are a couple of tank destroyers near the B point, and I think I might be able to flank him. Gotta take the low route, and then we'll figure it out from when we get there. And these M109s are everywhere. I mean, I figure they must be pretty good. Everyone seems to like them so much. Plane strafing somebody down here. Let's we'll see if we can follow it up. Ooh, what was that? Yep, there it is. I see something down there. Okay, I don't see it anymore. That was definitely something down there. Oh, it's a panther. Can I do anything with the panther? Oh, time to find out. Actually, no, wait, not time to find out, because he's disappeared. Seriously, where did, he, where did he go? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my elevation drive and my driver. Well, I'm done. I literally can't do anything about that. I think my breach is out, too. Yeah. All right, it's a foggy day here in Normandy. Everyone's favorite map. Actually, I don't mind this map so much. It's a lot of uh, camping and shooting, but we like that. I mean, that's kind of how you do tanks these days. I mean, technically, this isn't these days anymore. This is Cold War days, but uh, it is what you do. But the fog is kind of a equalizer in that sense, because you don't actually get thermals on a lot of these vehicles at 7.0. At least, I don't think you get thermals on any vehicles at 7.0. And because you don't, being able to see really far is kind of difficult. Ooh, somebody took a shot back at me. Let's get down, get down, get down. Use the terrain. We stick to the lowlands like true Soviet tanks. Ooh, okay. This is, this is risky. Because that over there, I don't know what that is. I don't want to press this ridge line right here okay whatever i was shooting at earlier it's dead so that's good right i think i need to go across this way there's definitely something right here and there's something right here too uh oh oh i pinned the roof of his turret okay that that was unexpected i wasn't expecting it to do that because it like i didn't think it would do that because it it looked like it was going to ricochet, but I think it hit the cupola of the tank and then kind of like exploded inside it, which is kind of funny. Oh, there we go. That was something different. All right, what is down there? And I don't want to go forward because I know there's a tank over here somewhere too. All right, maybe that IS-4 will be like enough of a distraction. All right, there you are. Let me hit him again. Hit him again. Keep hitting him. Where are you going? I'm not done with you. Okay, I'm kind of done with you. Ooh! Okay, he doesn't quite know where I am. Interesting, this guy, he must have... Something must have hit him hard, because he, he didn't come out. I thought, like, with me shooting at something else, he would have actually, like, peaked. Would have taken the chance. I know I would. Alright, so that M103, I guess, is what I was shooting at over there. That's dead. 
Uh, let's try this again. All right, I never want to reverse directly straight down in this scenario. Because that's what actually saved me against the M103. He thought I was going straight back, which I wasn't. Uh, that's why he didn't hit me. Like, I say that, but it's also a little bit of luck. <laughs> you get that one person who does the thing you don't expect, and then it's just, yeah, you got unlucky. It happens. All right, this guy's still down here. It's almost like this, I wish I had artillery. Not because, like, artillery can actually kill tanks. It just, it happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, was that the guy I killed earlier? Someone let me know. Is that the guy I killed earlier that decided to come and bomb me? Or is that just, like, something that happened? I don't know if these shots are getting anywhere near him. It does sound like there's more than one plane. I mean, I'm probably using the wrong ammo for this, but, like... Does it really matter when my accuracy against planes is sort of like 0%? Asking for a friend. I know I'm being really determined to hit a plane, but I don't know. I think this guy is just sort of like trying to camp for air spawns. That is what he's doing. I don't know where the other planes are. He's going to pass right over me. Or is he coming towards me? Hey, I got one. It cost me nearly my entire crew, but I got one. I mean, I guess we found a situation where I can take out planes. After all, what's the lives of four troops or four crewmen against, you know, an entire aircraft? Right? Like, come on. Oh, apparently we have a heavy tank on the A point. That's not good for me because that's where I'm going. I mean, let's hope it's one of those heavy tanks I can actually damage, you know? Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, there were, there were two of them. And so that is the ZSU-57. Uh, I definitely am not the best at using this as an actual AA gun. Unless they're moving very, very slowly. Oh, I mean, I say that, and then that happens. But as a tank, it's not very good. I mean, you can't really use this as a direct fire vehicle in that sense. But it does have a very, very good gun. I mean, for its BR, like, you're, you're gonna find... You still need to place those shots well, but there's quite a few things you can actually fight so long as you get the first shot. And you are gonna need to get that first shot because look at this accuracy right now. Like, you can see the rounds sort of going in random sort of directions, and that's not good. And you also, if, for example, you want to hit something, you do have to sort of aim left or right of where you're going and prioritize one of the shells over the other, which is something I definitely wasn't doing often enough. But that is a way that you're going to have to play this, because otherwise... It's just not gonna have the effect that you really want it to. And it also doesn't help that repeated shots make it fire slightly low. Now, I don't know if that changes depending on the direction that you're firing at. Like, I don't think so. Which sort of leaves uh, a kind of weird position to be in when it comes to that sort of thing. So you're gonna have to fire a lot slower than you, your actual rate of fire allows you to. Which is kind of a problem. Against planes, I don't think it matters as much, but against tanks, you definitely need to get the jump on people. But I honestly found myself enjoying this thing quite a lot. And if you enjoyed this tank and this video, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.